it is an extraordinarily hot day. Jessica and I are wearing black like we always do and we're dying here but today we're in Seaside Florida checking out looking for searching for the filming locations to 1998 The Truman Show. Behind me this was Truman's house. And here we find ourselves at Truman's house. It's actually called the Truman House, 31 Natchez Street in Seaside, but in the movie, right above the door, the number is 36. And I think it's pretty awesome that they decided to keep Truman's house number right there. Over here, they actually have it called the Truman House. How cold is that? Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> good morning. Oh. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. After saying good morning to his neighbors, Truman walks right down this walkway over here to the gate to get into his car, where he says hello to another neighbor who's living in this building, and the dog comes up to greet him. Yeah, yeah. Morning, Truman. Morning, Spencer. <laughs> hey, Pluto. Oh, no, 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 oh, get down. He won't hurt oh. you. Get down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's just me. Come on, Pluto. And then the camera switches to right about this angle when the stage light falls from the sky and lands in the middle of the street right about this exact spot. Really close to his house. Right there. Obviously, we don't have a crane for some sweeping crane shots, but we're first introduced to the town of Sea Haven right here in the square. Fly with classical drive, so why don't you forget about the perils of flying? Settle back and let this music calm you down. Every day on his way to work, Truman stops at a newsstand that production built right over here by these palm trees. He stopped there and ultimately got a magazine for the missus, but in all actuality, he was looking for the eyes of his mysterious love, Sylvia. Dog fancy, please. Dog fancy. Good. Thank, you Thank you very much. much. Oh, give me a paper there, will you, Errol? Oh, and uh, one of these. The wife loves her fashion mags. That'd be all for you, Truman? That's the whole kit and caboodle. Catch you later. <laughs> After Truman gets his newspaper and the magazine for the missus, he comes right down this walkway on his way to work, and he gets stopped by the identical twins right about where Jessica is standing. That was a fake wall behind her, and you can tell it's a fake wall because in this scene, you can see the water plate right there on the ground. But he gets stopped here every single day. Good morning, Truman. Hi, guys. Beautiful day, isn't it? Good morning, Truman. Hey, how are you guys? Beautiful day, isn't oh, it? Always. Uh, and how's your lovely wife? Good, good. And I should also point out that throughout this entire movie, because it's a TV show, there are ads. Here on the wall behind Truman, it says, Free Range Kaiser Chicken. Good. How about yours? Oh, couldn't be better. Good. Good. Um, uh, nice talking to you, you Truman. Too. You well, too. You too. Let's go now. Hey, think about that policy, yes, huh? As he turns to walk away from the twins to his work, we are now introduced to Ruskin Square. It's like an artist colony. Some things have changed, but right through this gate across the lawn is the facade that they built for Truman's work. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, that's two for one. That's a good deal. Yes, Doppelganger right. special. Right. <laughs> and about this shot right here, that white building can be seen in the background, especially that staircase. Not 
much has changed, but right here in this little grass clearing in front of the steps, this is where they built the facade to the life insurance company that he worked for. Hey, hey fellas, going in? Go ahead. You wouldn't be able to tell just by looking at it because it fits in so well, but right here at the base of these stairs, there's a sign that says Rubio Architects which is a business, but there is no business here. This is a leftover prop from whenever they were here filming. Here's a shot of the back of the sign, which you can tell, obviously, that there is nothing written there. And that's mainly because when they were filming, all the cameras were coming from that angle over there facing this way. Ruskin Square, I'm guessing that's what you call this place, is very reminiscent of Savannah, Georgia. It's very beautiful and you can see easily see why the people for the Truman Show filmed here for a lot of their scenes. Ready? Also here in the square they filmed the flashback college scenes where Truman and his best friend are practicing their instrument because they're in a band but right here against this building they built a fake facade and this is also where he's first introduced into the mysterious woman Sylvia. Now I saw some videos online and I talked to some of the locals that were here whenever they were filming and it appears that this tree right here is the one, the actual tree that Sylvia was sitting in front of with that scene with Truman. Which is funny because the scene with Truman was way over there on the other side of the park. Movie magic because they wouldn't have been able to see each other the way the park stands right now. And even though Sylvia is the one who captures Truman's attention, the powers that be, the creators of the TV show make Meryl fall into his lap, literally. And they fall back against this rock retaining wall. And she keeps apologizing for tripping and falling on him. Oh, ow, Whoa. ow, Whoa. Oh. Okay. excuse me, all right? hi. Hi. I'm so sorry I fell on you like that. It's okay. I've just, I've been such a klutz all day. Just... All right. So you'll remember in this scene that Truman is sent on an assignment by his work where he has to cross the ferry. And he kind of has a phobia of water from having watched his father die in the ocean when he was a kid. Now because the ducks aren't here anymore, it's making it a little difficult, but not really to line up the shots. But as soon as we got here, we noticed these trees poking out of the water in about the center of your screen. And that's how we were pretty much able to line up everything. So the scene opens up to this shot right here. Well, just about, a lot has changed. Right in about the center of your screen, you will see the Harbor Island Ferry Terminal. And over on this side right here is a ticket booth that oddly enough can be seen throughout the entire film. And we're going to find that ticket booth later on. But let's walk where Truman walked. Hello, Ferry's still here, huh? Thought I might have missed it. One way or return? Return. There you go, sir. <laughs> the dock that's here today is completely different, but right over here near this tree is where the ticket booth once stood. And like I said, we're gonna go find it later on, but Truman buys his ticket and he walks out onto the platform and the dock to get on the ferry apprehensively. And as he gets to right over here to where this corner is, he looks down and he sees a sunken boat, which reminds him of his father. A couple creative shots later, Truman gets weak at the knees and he turns and goes back to land. Alright, 
So this little bridge that's next to the bridge, that's on the left, which is now a walkway, but whenever they were here filming for the Truman Show, it's where they did the unfinished bridge scenes. Now I'm not entirely sure if whenever they were here filming, if the bridge was halfway done or if they did some CGI movie magic. But on this bridge right here, Truman and his best friend shared some stories, hit some golf balls, drank some beers, and also this is where he was finally reunited with his dad. Mm. That is a beer. You know, I'm thinking about getting out, Marlon. Yeah? Out of what? Out of my job. Out of sea haven. Off this island, out. Out of your job? What the hell's wrong with your job? You have a great job, Truman. You have a desk job. <laughs> I'd kill for a desk job. Right now, I'm just walking further out, down the road, onto the bridge, to kind of, I don't know, I guess you, where you can kind of imagine where Truman was standing. Whenever he reunited with his dad, he saw his dad walk up to him. Yep, I found him for you, Truman. That's why I came by tonight. Sure, he's got quite a story to tell. Go to him. Now, if you notice, the guardrails here are the same as in the movie. And there was a lot of fog, and then, including at one point, Ed Harris even says, hey, ease it on the fog, because it's getting a little too much. And this is about right. Beautiful area, right? That's Florida. Hey, Jessica. What are you looking at? Baby fish. Baby fish? Baby fish. Minnows. Look at all the teeny tiny baby fish. Oh yeah, minnows. I can see them. Like go all the way over there, there's so many. There's tons of them. You, my dear, are absolutely beautiful. Stand by all extras. Gloria, he'll be on you in about 90 seconds. Pops, make sure the copy's hot. Okay, he's making his turn onto Lancaster Square. In the movie, Truman is driving to work one day, and while he's driving to work, on the radio, he can hear people talking about every single one of his moves. It starts to freak him out, and he ends up parking right in front of this structure, where you can see it in the background on this angle. Now, everything's changing quite considerably over the years, including this market spot. Now, I do want to point out that there are other people that have done videos on this exact location, but they are wrong because as you can see in this scene, when Truman pulls up and parks, that that beach tower straight ahead, that obelisk, that monument, it's on an angle. Hey, about that, folks, I guess we picked up a police frequency or something. It sometimes happens, and it can drive you crazy. Okay, it's classical Clive back in here, and we've still got some great music up ahead, but hey, don't forget to buckle up. Remember safety. Good driver's a safe driver. Safe driver is what? Yes. <laughs> After discovering the fake wall inside the elevator and getting thrown out of the building, Truman notices his friend's work truck parked outside of this market and he runs over to talk to him. Standing in the heart of Modica Market, it is right here, this shot, where the camera is in the vending machine and Truman comes in to get the attention of his best friend, letting him know that something is awry and the townsfolk are acting strange. Harley! Truman, what are you doing here? I gotta talk to you. It's a bad time, okay? I'm way behind. I'm onto something, Marlon. Something big. Are you okay? You look like shit. I think I'm mixed up in something. Mixed up in what? There's no point trying to explain it, but a lot of strange things have been happening. Because the movie is pretty much over 5,000 hidden cameras, 
to film the TV show. Here's another shot of Truman and his friends standing here, this time looking at the patrons inside the store, deciding who is in on it and who is not. Who? It's hard to tell. They look just like regular people. How about those two? I don't know. Could be. A lot has changed for sure, but here is the actual ladder, and the lights are the same as well. And of course, Hollywood movie magic, there really is no vending machines here, it is just shelves, but they would have been standing, well, placed where Jessica is standing right now. And speaking of vending machines, right where they would have been in the movie, high above, if you find yourself in the store, you will actually find a poster of The Truman Show. They even have some pictures on the wall of whenever they were here filming. How cool is that? One of the really cool things about the Truman Show, the entire town was pretty much cast as extras. The owners of this establishment were actually seen in the scene inside the store, the store scene. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is whenever Truman gets Merrill in the car and they go driving around town because he wants to leave town and go to Fiji and the Tupelo Street gazebo can be seen quite prominently. I'm being spontaneous! <laughs> Forget Fiji. Can't very well drive to Fiji, can we? <laughs> what about Atlantic City? Oh no, you hate to gamble. That's right, I do, don't I? So why would you want to go there? Because I never have. That's why people go places, isn't it? Truman? Truman, I think I'm gonna throw up. Me too! And that whole scene took place right here where Truman drove the car with his wife in it around and around and around this gazebo. And eventually, they took off down this street here, which is Tupelo Street. And before they can get all the way down to the end, all the cars came out and blocked them. A traffic jam. Blocked it every turn. In the movie, I always thought that they were little streets that led into this street here, Tupelo. But in all actuality, all the little inlets are driveways. Stopping right about here, he jokingly says, all right, you're right, I changed my mind. And then they back up, back up Tupelo Street towards the gazebo. Let's go back. I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. Can you please slow down? Yes, I can. <laughs> And around and around and around the gazebo, they go again. And then he jokingly says, once more, he changes his mind and they go back down the street, Tupelo, and the traffic jam is gone. Blast through the stop sign and off they go. Woo! Look, Farrell. Same road, no cars. It's magic. <laughs> Look, you let me out, Truman. You're not right in the head. You want to destroy yourself, you do it on your own. I think I'd like a little company. Truman and Merrill are in their car heading out of town when they come to this bridge and Truman is afraid to cross the water. So he asks for his wife's hand, puts it on the steering wheel, closes his eyes, and he drives wildly across the bridge. Now it's really hard to line up the exact shot for a couple reasons. One, because the shot was from a crane. And the second one, well, as you can see, it's a busy road, so I'm not gonna be standing out there, but right about here, you would have seen the sign that said, you are now leaving Sea Haven Island. Oh, Truman, you knew this would happen. You know you can't drive over water. Just go home where you'll feel safe. Drive. Truman! This is the road Truman and Merrill are driving on when Truman is trying to escape. It's this road where you see the fire line go across the road that he drives through. Truman, Truman, wait! 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 Truman
What about that sign? I'm sure they're exaggerating. We'll be fine. And ultimately, they get stopped at the Sea Haven nuclear power plant where Truman is ultimately captured and taken back to town. So let's go see this power plant. What now? Looks like a leak at the plant. Back up, back up. Well, this is as close as we're going to get to the Sea Haven nuclear power plant. In reality, it's Gulf Power. But Truman trying to escape ultimately is stopped right here as people are running out because of a nuclear leak. A state trooper tells him to turn back. He can't go any further, but he accidentally calls him Truman. Realizing what's going on, Truman gets out of the car and runs off down this road where people in suits try to tackle him. So Truman takes off into the woods. Ultimately, they catch him and they take him back to Sea Haven. Leak at the plant. They had to shut her down. Is there any way around? Full air is being evacuated. Is there anything I can do? No, oh, ma'am. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Truman. So the temperature has jumped up to 104 degrees. It's hot. Seaside is a very, very beautiful place. Can't get down to the beaches because they're private beaches. Jessica is sitting this portion of the video out. Uh, she's sitting in air conditioning. Got us popsicles right now. I'm eating a, a cookies and cream popsicle, but I am walking back to where the newsstand that was featured throughout the movie currently stands today. Almost melting immediately. Uh, so right now I'm behind the tennis courts making my way back here. I don't want to lose my popsicle, man. Like some sort of weird running joke, this ticket booth was featured throughout the entire film in different areas. Today, it sits in the back of the seaside tennis courts. You kind of have to walk a little bit to get here, but it's here, it's the same exact one. Don't believe me? Well, there's the tennis courts. Pretty much abandoned, which is odd. I mean, everybody's down there by the beach. But if we swing back over this way, it's the same exact building. You could tell so mainly by this side over here and this window. You can match it exactly to a shot in the movie. Wherever I come, I've had love. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that his state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. 